what is up print squad i am back with another tutorial video and as you see right here we are getting closer to the 5,000 subscribers and um once i do reach the 5,000 subscribers i will be doing like i told you guys before i will be um, doing a giveaway for whoever wins they will get their choice of a heat press or a screen printing press so with that being said let's get into the tutorial okay um right here i have the image that i did from the last tutorial where i separated the colors and i have each color on their own layer so today what we're going to be doing is taking this to press so i'm going to show you guys the steps that you would have to do in order to get this ready to print it out on your film so that you can burn your screens okay so the first thing that we're going to do is add registration marks and there are a few ways that you can add registration marks um, one thing that I have used before are plus marks just regular plus marks all you do is hold the shift key and hit the plus mark symbol you know on your keyboard and you can put your plus marks in different places uh, some people put different well different people put different amounts of registration marks on their design and I have used the plus mark several times uh, for printing but you can also use regular registration marks so if you put your plus marks what I would usually do is find the center location for my plus marks and I would do it by counting like the edge of here and the edge of here to make sure that everything is centered using these grid lines right here that you see so once I get every get everything centered I will put a mark in the center at the top in the center at the bottom and depending on the person some people put three marks like they may put one right up here one here and one here some people put four where it will be a, a fourth mark all around and then you have your two registration marks for the center okay so uh, because a lot of people don't know where to get registration marks I'm gonna do the other way I'm gonna use the actual registration marks and I, I do use the plus marks for center center marks let me see I'm gonna just change that to a different one so what I would do is duplicate this layer and then I would bring it down and I would make sure that everything is centered now you see how those lines are coming up right there that is telling me if if my uh, design is centered or not so once it gets right there then I know it's centered so that's the way that that I would do with that and really the first the first mark that you center the other mark can go off of that one or you can you know like instead I'm gonna delete this one and I'm gonna copy this one or duplicate this one and the way you duplicate is you come over to this side and you right click on the layer that you want and then you just click duplicate and it's gonna ask you for the name of the layer and you can uh, rename the layer if you want to whatever you want it to okay and now that I have that I'm just using the up arrow on my keyboard to slide that one up and I'm gonna fast forward this because you know it takes a minute okay now that I have it in the place that I want it I am going to um, go and get registration marks now I already have my registration marks but I'm going to show you guys where you can get them like right here if you come right here to Google and type in registration marks this is some of the things that pop up so um, as you see um, I, what I usually do is just choose one like you can choose any registration mark you want preferably in the color black so um, when you come down here I had it up on the screen earlier let me see here it is right here this is just like below our four common registration marks that you might see on any item that is being printed on a professional printing press so right here these are registration marks you know that people who print t-shirts would use so because I already have mine I am going to go back to Photoshop and in my Photoshop I'm sorry but I have to place embed everything so here's my registration mark right here so what I would do is bring it in and you see it is a giant registration mark so I'm gonna size it by holding the shift key 
as I resize. And I'm sorry um, if you if you don't know how to uh, resize, I will show you in just a moment okay to resize you just when you first bring it in here it has this little square around it so in order to resize you would just shift and grab one of the corners and resize it from there so I have my first registration mark the correct way so I'm going to hit the enter button and you can size these the way that you need them if you want if you like them big you can make them big if you want them smaller you can make them smaller but one thing that you need to keep in mind is that when you are doing your registration marks, you will have to cover them up before you can print your t-shirt. So I'm going to go over to this right side over here where the layers are and I'm going to click on, I'm going to right click on the layer that I want and I'm going to go up to duplicate layer and hit OK. And I'm going to, you can use the arrow key to bring, bring it over to make sure that everything is lined up but just for the sake of the video to speed it up I'm going to drop drop it there and then I'm going to go back to the layer side and duplicate the next one and I'm going to bring it down and duplicate the next one and bring it over and you you know you can line them up evenly by using the arrow key it just takes a little bit longer and because I'm trying to teach you guys I'm just doing it this way to speed the process up okay so now the next thing that I would do over here I have uh, my white ink now in order for me to be able to print this out I have to have everything black so that it will work correctly on my when I print it on my transparency film and I can burn it in my screen so right here I'm gonna right click on white and when I'm saying white over here, that's the layer for white. Like as you see, I'm covering the eye up. You can see what layer I'm working with. So I'm gonna right click on white and then I'm gonna go up to blending options and I'm going to click on color overlay. And right here, when I clicked on color overlay, you can see that there is a line in between, like the white didn't fully cover. And let me show you on the view so that you can see better. Okay, right here, you can see that the line did not fully cover on that. So I have click cover color overlay, and I'm going to make sure it is 100% black by typing in zeros here. Okay, now that I know it's the correct color black, the next thing that I'm going to do is hit stroke. Okay, right here, if I click on the layer for stroke, you can see that it's red so right there where it's red at, it was white because it didn't fill in everything properly so I'm, what I'm going to do is change this stroke from red to black because I need it to be black and I'm just going to type in the four zeros and hit OK so now you can see what it looks like without the stroke with the stroke and it's going to fill in those empty spaces and right here my stroke is actually six but I only need it to be about three and like as you see those empty spaces there we're gonna add a stroke to all of them and you don't always have to add a stroke and uh, some different ways that you can do this like um, you're printing if you're using the white ink you can um, print it out so that the, you have a white layer, a base layer of white, and then you can print the orange and the black on top of it, or you can print it separately, and I'm going to show you guys that. So we've done the white. We are now moving on to the black, and as you see, there's two different color blacks. We want to make sure that our black is 100% black, so we what we're going to do is right-click the black, go up to blending options once again, and go down to color overlay, and... It shows black but we want to make sure that it is 100% black so we're gonna put the zeros right there okay and now we're gonna hit the stroke button on that and as you see it filled everything in it's not any more white so what I'm gonna do is go to the stroke button I'm gonna hit the change the size to three and then the next thing I'm going to do is change the color to black by typing in the four zeros okay and so we have that done and the next color that we're going to do is orange so we click on the orange layer right click blending options go down to color overlay and 
make sure the check mark is in the box and we're going to make sure we're going to click on that layer go over to the color right up here and we're going to make sure that it is 100 percent black and hit ok now we're going to stroke and we're going to click on the layer for stroke change stroke to black and now we're going to hit ok and as you see it's on six we're going to change it to three okay so right there now our image kind of looks a hot mess you know it's all one color and as you see we do have a few little lines on there but that you know that shouldn't um, affect anything if you're worried about it all you have to do is make your stroke thicker you know and that that's all you have to do for that okay so I have that here so the way that I would print this out is okay if you remember our layers over here on the right side we have orange black and white okay if, if you want to have a white under base you can leave it as it is right here and you can print it out but what the way that you would print out each color is like right here if we say okay we're going to print out the orange first the, all you have to do is cover the eye of the white layer and the black layer and then you go over to file and print if I can find print okay file print and now as you see right here in this preview it is going to be printing out just the one layer and you would make sure all your settings are correct and hit print and it and make sure that your transparency film is ready to go and it will print it out and this is right here what you would have right here so then we would go to the next color okay we printed the orange so we're gonna cover the eye on that and next we're gonna print the black so you will come over here to print and you will see you will only be printing that and so on and so forth and then all you would have to do once you print each of your colors is make sure that you line them up correctly when you're burning your film and go ahead and uh, line them up correctly on the press and that is it that's it for the tutorial thank you for tuning in uh, if you like the video be sure to hit the thumbs up button if you haven't subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be sure to tune in on Sundays for the live stream and check the links below because I try to keep goodies down there for you. So I will see you guys in the next video. Print Squad out.